as a bush doctor, is an ancient traditional way of living. And differently from the mechanical form of doctorism in the West, and which is destructive to humanity, which they are still researching to find cures for many things. There is also a new epidemic called the Legionnaires, which is now breaking out in, in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as I see, they don't know where it comes from, what creates it, or know the solution to the pollution. See? And all those things, there is no disease that is incurable. See? And I have been researching on bushes for a good long time, and I have found many bushes to be proven, I mean, 100% beneficial in curing many destructive diseases, you know. So the, the bush doctor who's from the old tradition Same. Um, is also a mystic man True. with a message. True. Because to make bush medicine, you have to be mystic. See, because it takes spiritual ingredients. It's not just getting the bush and putting them together. The mind has to be in the medicine. See, for it to work. <clears throat> what part does um, one of the favorite bushes, the, the, the herb, play in all this? The herb. Well, the herb is like you live in Babylon, you see everyone smokes cigarette. Nine out of ten people smoke cigarette. And although nine out of ten people smoke cigarette, it is destructive to the human body. The herb. Because herb was created scientifically, spiritually, for the use of man by the Creator. See? Then the devil came and said, it is you and I, and he invented cigarette so he can have the people on this death trip. Yeah, cancer. See? <clears throat> Talking about the, the recent albums, Bush Doctor and Mystic Man, it, people have um, described you recently as a prolific writer and that within the space of eight, nine months, See? there's another album out. True. Do you, under all the traveling you're doing now, um, have a lot of time to write, you write on the road, or yeah. you write? Mm -hmm. Everywhere, anywhere, because inspiration is always there, see? It's not where you are, it's who you are to get the inspiration, because if the mind is pure, inspiration comes anywhere, mm -hmm. true. Your music is part of a, a whole roots tradition that not only embraces Jamaican music, but can be related to the current um, rise of Caribbean music. Yes. African music, etc. Um, I read somewhere that you were in Trinidad some time ago, mm -hmm. and a Calypsonian there told me that he met you or read somewhere that when you were talking, mm -hmm. um, you compared the message in reggae mm -hmm. and the Trinidadian music, and you felt that there was something lacking mm -hmm. in the Trinidadian music. Yeah. What did you mean by that? Well, most generally, listening to Calypso, I'm not definite in the characters of the music or the play of the music because a mango tree cannot be a rapper. Mm -hmm. See? Well, <clears throat> um, Calypso music is the foundation of the West Indies Island, excluding Jamaica. Well, I realize that that is their way of making music, that is their way of enjoying themselves. See? But at the same time, music comes through a divine spiritual line. And music was created as a schoolroom of awakening, but most people commercialize it and utilize it for their benefits within the society, see? And in Trinidad, not Trinidad alone, but many places where calypsos is being sung, if you should listen to nine out of 10 calypsos, it is not saying nothing constructively or awakening. And if you listen to nine out of 10 discos, it's just the same thing. Not nine out of ten, but ten out of ten. Most <laughs> 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 probably. Yes, yeah. sir. The thing, um, the guy who told me this actually, his name is Explainer, and he agreed mm -hmm. with you. See? He wasn't disagreeing. Uh, True. Although he's from Trinidad, True. And so, and he felt that what you were saying was a was a, a valid criticism. That yes, they yes, man. So. And just right because music is for awakening. And if you can get people happy, make them dance in the circ circumstances and the situation that they are living in, financially and politically, and they can be dancing irrespective of the circumstances, well, you can awaken them and make them dance to their awakening too.
Sure. Is that all the purpose of, of your touring? You've been touring um, North America, Europe. You've just had some great successes in Holland. Yes. Um, you, you sang at Montreux with Dennis Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, you've just done New York. You're going back. The album yeah. is doing very well. Yeah. It is underneath all of that success commercially, is the is the same ideal for equal rights, justice. Yes. Prevailing same. in everything. Yes, universally, and it is bringing more people to the consciousness of the awakening. Because it's not only black people are being downpressed. Many nations, every nation, white, pink, blue, black, and green are being downpressed by the shit stem. See? And when you can get the music to go across to any nation to make people realize that there is someone who can relieve the depression of their mind musically, see? Because words spoken and words sung are very different psychologically. See, words can be very heavy if it is verbally spoken. And if you use the same words, verbally spoken, decorated with music, it won't be looked upon to be so heavy because people will dance. Right. See? The audiences are growing. I mean, you're playing now for 10, 12, 30, 60,000 people. See? Um, do you like trying to reach that many people at once? Is it possible? Yes, man. As much people. I played before 200,000 people too. Yeah. And when playing before them is that is people who are die-hearted rock fans, but because of the spiritual ingredients and the so-called political contents, because most of the rock people are people who are revolutionary-minded musically. See, they like to listen to music that are what you would say band on radios or they like those kind of things and. Well, getting across to those people is very, very great. See? Is there any pressure at all on you from the bottom line end of things? You know, the record company, we got to sell a million records. Mm. To get your records out sooner, to get your records out uh, more commercially, to go on the road, do you feel a pressure at all? No. You're, you're very careful. Um, not directly. Right now. I think because my music is political, mm -hmm. there is not enough energy by the companies because it's the same general shit stem irrespective of who you're working with. See? And I am no respecter of persons when it comes to definition of my character, see? or underestimation of my ability. See? Well, I work with the companies and all the promotions that been going on and the recognition that the music has been getting is not because of the energies that the companies has been putting behind the record. It's because of my potential, my ability, and the ingredients that I put in. See? Because many times the companies come to see me perform and was totally shocked and amazed see? to see that this is someone who they are underestimating their ability and to know that that person because they tell me that every time. Yeah. In a way, the, they, are, they are subsidizing somebody who is actually undermining the shit stem. True. <laughs> That's a wonderful thing, isn't yes, it? Yes, very, very, I tell you that. And a very diplomatic procedure, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk just for the last bit about um, the experiences you've had with people who do not understand the herb. Yeah. Um, or seek to reach at you adversely yeah. because of your, your message, mm -hmm. okay, your strong position. See. Um, in Trinidad, you, you were busted some time ago, or yeah. there was a question around yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, in Jamaica, you've had several occasions yes. where the guys have trampled True. on you. True. What is your general philosophical reaction to all of that? Will that come to an end? Yes, it must come to an end because, as it was said, irrespective of the circumstances that are taking place on earth. The people are those who are dealing with the Creator and are dealing with equal rights and justice to its fullest and are dealing with something that is constructive towards human awakening and uplifting. Those people will be humiliated. But, but at, as it was said, it was prophesied that after all these humiliations, it shall be honor, power, and majesty, see, and no force on the earth or under the earth can stop the recognition when it's supposed to come, because what will make it come if the person is determined to continue the struggle 
and is certain of what he or she is dealing with and know that what you're dealing with is profoundly right, then it is right for you to continue. See? And you will continue? Yes, till it, yes, till till it ends. Well. Yes, must be torn down and equal rights and justice must be handed down. See? Thank you very much. You're welcome, man.